Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Kudash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well, taught us the truth, and warned us of the things to come, the things that you see happening today. All right. Peace and salutation to the hopeful elect out there pushing the truth and sincerity to all of which I do. The water, we appreciate you. We love you. Through the spirit of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh and Shalom. All right. Hey, uh, it's your brother Dawadad here. <clears throat> and, um, just really quick, this is going to be a really quick lesson. Abba Rakhdaza, meaning Father's will, is very edifying. Um, and if you're watching this now, you're a so-called black Native American or Latino man or woman. You're a Hebrew or Israelite, according to the Holy Bible, okay? All right, who the world ignorantly calls God. His name is Yahweh, spoken about in Exodus chapter 3, verse 15, uh, 14 and 15. It's like it. All right? <clears throat> and it means uh, he is or he's he exists, all right? And uh, who, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, his name is Yahweh Shai, which means he is the deliverer, he is our savior, all right? So, um, yeah, just really quick, you know, like I said, because I got some things to go go do. So, uh, this is going to be about the uh, importance of, like, learning the Hebrew and why it's important to our nation, all right? We're going to jump right into it. Um, but before I like, bring out the first scripture, just basically, if you're watching this now, just, you know, you can, um, I brought this up with the, uh, some, a link to some, uh, very edifying, uh, Hebrew lessons. Um, I'll put that in the description. And, uh, if you go to greatmillstone.info, um, you can find the Hebrew alphabet and some words and, you know, put together some sentences. All the, all the Hebrew, um, prayers are there some curses you know it's important that you learn the hebrew all right because the heavenly father's name is hebrew and so is yahweh shai so when you call on a name you gotta know you have to you have to call the name in hebrew right he's not gonna respond to jesus christ he's not gonna respond to god um you know and um you know anything you speak in hebrew is, is more uh it's more strength uh sh it's more strength in it you know it's, it's potent you know, it's the essence of the of, of it all, you know. And we're gonna jump into the importance of that. I'll start at uh first verse would be Acts twenty six. Um I start at I think it's verse thirteen. It says, At midday, O king, I saw in the way a light from heaven above the brightness of the sun. So let's talk about what he saw was you know, it, it was in the firmament. All right, it was it was, like I said, from heaven. It was in the heavens, right? Above the brightness of the sun, shining round about me and them which journeyed with me. And when we were all fallen to the earth, I heard a voice speaking unto me and saying in the Hebrew tongue, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? It is hard for thee to prick against the pricks. All right? To kick against the pricks. All right? Now, when you read on, you know, this is Paul talking. Uh, this is Paul right here, all right? Before his name was Saul, and later, later changed his name to Paul. This is the Apostle Paul right here, all right? Now, notice in verse, 10, verse 13, it says, he said in the, in the Hebrew tongue. Now, it says also that he, he, he heard a voice speaking into the Hebrew tongue, but this voice came from where? From heaven. So that will let you know the importance of speaking Hebrew. The, the Heavenly Father and His Son speak the Hebrew language. All right, the Hebrew tongue, okay. That's that's why it's important. You see these people in these churches they over there speaking, um, what do they call that tongues? All right, that's some bullshit made up gibberish that they done made up, and you know that's not the that's not the word. That's not the uh, the correct dialogue. All right, and if you go into that word tongue, there, I'm gonna click on that word tongue. All right. The Apostle uh, Gabar went into this uh, uh, video, which um, inspired me to do this lesson for our uh, brothers coming into the truth now. Or, you know, if you happen just to stumble across this video and you're wondering who the Hebrew Israelites are, if I go into the word tongue, right? <clears throat> the word there is dialectos. Strong's G, 1258. Dialectos. Dialectos. Okay. So what does it mean? All right. One says conversation, speech, discourse, language. The tongue or language peculiar to any people. So what what 
what what peculiar tongue to what people is it pertain does it pertain to the Hebrew Israelites? All right, and and, and the heavenly father, the heavenly father, the son. All right, because we because if you go back, right? If you go back, it says, um, at midday, O king, I saw the way of a uh, uh, way of light from heaven, from heaven. So that's letting you know, this is the heavenly language. All right, not that bullshit that they speak in church. All right, it's Hebrew, man. Okay, and Yahweh Shai spoke to him in the Hebrew. So this is the language you should you 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 should you brothers should be learning, man. This is the language you you brothers should be getting into, man. You know, get into this language, man. The Hebrew, the Paleo Hebrew. If you go to uh, greatmillstone.info, you know you should be able to find a Hebrew lexicon, you know different uh, prayers, you know, um, stuff like that, letters, different words and curses and stuff like that. Hey, dig into that, man. That's good information right there, you know. You know, it's very, it's very, very important for, for us to learn the Hebrew language, man. You know, me myself included. You know, I don't, I don't study it enough. You know, I don't speak it as fluent as as I would like to. You know, I really don't speak it at all. Really, I know, if, I know words, I know curses, I know, I know prayers. And you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I know the alphabet by heart, but being able to talk to my brothers, nah, I'm not, I'm not there yet. You know. Be able to conversate in the in the in the most pure language in the world, you know that that's gonna that's a blessing, man. I brought this out, you know. You know, uh, we, we we when we're laboring in this thing, man, we're studying the Hebrew, man, along with uh, the scriptures, man. All right. So uh, let me get one more verse, and I'm gonna close out. Like I said, it's gonna be a quick one. All right. So I make sure I got it done before I got into some other stuff for the rest of the night. You know, I brought this out, uh, do another video on something else. If the spirit uh, hit me. Um, let's see, I think it's, uh, no, it's the Old Testament, it's locked here. This is Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 8, right? No, 3 and 9. So it says, for then will I turn to the people a pure language, see, a pure language. That they may all call upon the name of the Lord to serve him with one consent. So look, it says, for then I will turn to the people. What people? You blacks, so-called blacks, Native Americans, and Latinos. You Hebrew Israelites. For then will I turn to the people a pure language that they may all call upon the name. So how do you call upon the name if you don't have the pure language? Because the pure, uh, the name, they, they are in the pure language, all right? The Hebrew the Paleo Hebrew, all right. Yahweh is, is is a is a Hebrew name, all right. Yahweh Shai is a Hebrew name. So knowing the name, so knowing the uh the Hebrew is very very important, all right. When you when you call upon the name and you throw a curse at somebody, it has strength to it, man. When you call upon the name and and, and, you, and you say Baba Kasha, which means please, and you say Salachia, which means uh uh forgive me. You know, you call it a Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Salachia. You know, please, please, please forgive me. You know, for, wash me of my sins. You know, I'm, you know, I'm here to repent. I'm here to serve you. You know, this is how you call upon the name. You gotta know. You gotta know the Hebrew. All right. Yeah, you can. You know, you can call upon the name and, and speak English. Of course, he's gonna hear you if you're sincere. But it's good for you to learn the Hebrew because if you, especially, especially if you learn the Hebrew, you you implement his name. All right, you learn the Hebrew with your prayers and you pray to the east. That is a, a trifecta, man. That is the trifecta right there. Call upon the name, speak the Hebrew to him, and and um and and face the east, man. Because we we face the east when we pray to the Most High. Um, I forgot the reasons why, and, and um, the the scriptures go into it. That's why that's why I say if you're watching this, you know, go to Great Millstone and look up the different cr camps and be edified, man. Cause I cause I'm learning here, but I'm teaching what I know. All right. If you brothers are watching this, you know what I'm saying, and you're learning, and you're being edified by me through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim teach teach another brother. You know what I'm saying. You can only teach what you know, though. You know what I'm saying. Don't be proud, by the way. You got to be humble, man. Humble yourself, man. Humble yourself and, you know, come to, you know, if, if someone's asking questions, humble yourself, answer them to the best of your ability, 
You know, if not, bring them, send them to uh, tell them to do the same thing I'm telling you to do. Go, go hey, go to Great Millstone on YouTube and look, look them up and, and check out the different uh videos that's out there, man. It's so much information out there. All right, the Hebrew, hey, hey man, the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yashai is putting the spirit on GMS to put out real information. All right, that's gonna save your lives. Real information that's that's pertaining to everyday living. That other people are not putting out. You got these different rap videos out. All these different rappers coming up with this be bullshit reality TV shows. All these game shows and fucking wilding out and all that dumb shit. All that bullshit, man. All that folly, man. It's cool to watch some of that stuff. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? You know, be entertained. But, hey, man, you know, I got to look into words. You know, the meanings of words. You know, history, man. Kings. Wars. You got to look this stuff up. You know, watch the news. Don't just be watching sports all day, man. Don't just be watching. Don't just be playing video games all day, man. You know what I'm saying? Edify yourself, man. All right? Through the spirit of your Habashim Yashai, Great Millstone on YouTube is a way to be edified, all right? So with that, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rokhokadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders that rule well, taught us this, this truth, and warned us of the things that come, the things that you guys see happening right now. All right, peace and salutations to the whole full light out here pushing this truth and sincerity. The water for which I do, we love you. We appreciate you. The spirit of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, in the Hebrew name, all right? The importance of the Hebrew name is significant. All right. Shalom.